Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts 3 playthrough. It is time to enter the Kingdom of Corona. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Those lights appear every year on my birthday, only on my birthday, and I can't help but feel like they're, they're meant for me. I need to see them, and not just from my window, in person. I have to know what they are. Can I just say that is easily one of my favourite title cards in the game? I mean, just like, oh my god, that was gorgeous! Hmm. It sure is a pretty day. <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Why do you think we came here? Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. <sighs> okay. I'm sure we were brought to this world for some good reason. But can't we sweat it later? Fine with me. I swear this does no harm us. Make way! Make way! Make way! Oh. Huh? Heartless! You see, as soon as you mention them, they show up. There goes our picnic. I didn't do it. It's okay. Let's send these guys packing. Say, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle. You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. Yeah, what's the name? Oh, nothing, nothing. Name's Flynn, Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out, they look mad. Slowly, slowly. Out of here. Oh, I have to say, I am so very happy that um, Tangled got into Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, I think Tangled sort of sits there in being sort of one of those more underrated Disney films. And it is, it's just a delight. And I was really super happy when they announced it. And I think it was actually the first Disney World that they announced for Kingdom Hearts 3. And that's just sort of amazing. What's also really awesome is that apparently it was um, one of the first worlds to be considered for the game as well. Um, but we had sort of an, an initial announcement, I think we saw, I think it was like a couple of screenshots or saw a fighting in the world, I can't remember exactly what we saw initially. Um, but then we didn't see a lot of Kingdom of Corona for quite a while. Um, in at the D23 Expo Japan 2018, um, Tetsuya Nomura explains that the reason that um, gameplay footage of this world, and I think 
kind of shots of Rapunzel in particular were delayed because they needed time to refine the rendering of Rapunzel's hair because obviously they wanted it to be able to interact with the terrain of the world as it, you know, should do because it's that's kind of her key thing. Um, but I have to, I think that they did a really, really excellent job of it. I mean, it looks just like the film and I love it so much. I think I saw him go that away. Huh? But that away is just a dead end. Yeah, that's puzzling. Well, did he? Hmm. I say we investigate. I agree. So, uh, we get to explore a little bit. Um, I feel that now's probably a good time to switch in the favourite Deputy Keyblade, because obviously we got that from uh, the Toy Box. Makes sense to uh, bring it out and make use of it. And I have to say, it is quite a fun Keyblade, so I am totally fine with that. I'm also totally fine with the fact that they got pretty much... Well, they, they got two of the three main castmates from the original Tangled to re, uh, return to their roles. Um, we have the amazing Zachary Levi as uh, Flynn Rider, and we have the brilliant Donna Murphy as Mother Gothel. Gothel. Unfortunately, we don't have Mandy Moore reprising her role as Rapunzel, especially considering, you know, Mandy Moore has been in the Kingdom Hearts franchise before because she was the original voice of Aerith, I believe. Um, but clearly she must have been a little bit too busy at the time of when they were recording this because I believe that she has returned for every other role that Rapunzel has had in anything. So I don't think that it was a case of... Uh, she didn't want to do it. I think it was definitely much more a case of um, schedules, which is always a shame. Um, but the actress that they did get in to do Rapunzel's voice for this game, um, one Kelsey Lansdowne, as I believe it's pronounced, I don't know, um, she does a really, really good job of um, voice matching Mandy Moore. And I remember when there was sort of the initial trailer, everyone was just like, well, when Rapunzel finally spoke, everyone was just like, oh my god, it's Mandy Moore, they got her! No, no, they didn't. But um, still, she does an excellent job. And really, I think that, I mean, once again, it's one of those things of basically all of the actors and performers in Kingdom Hearts 3, bar one, I would say, do an excellent job. Um, we'll get to that one at a later point. And it's certainly a one. <laughs> But I have to say, sort of, Kingdom of Corona looks just beautiful. It's the sunniness, it's the uh, the foliage, the greenery, it just looks so uh, happy and pleasing to be in. It's just a gorgeous world, all in all. Well, at least you got away safe, right? Oh. Hey, now Sora's gone too. This way, guys. It's a secret passage. Oh. And that, my friends, is Rapunzel's Tower. I pretty much I think that was one of the first shots that we actually did see of a Disney World in Kingdom Hearts 3, and just like, oh my god. And the recreation of this scene is mwah, perfect. How you doing? The name's Flynn Rider. How's your day going? Huh? Who else knows my location? 
Flynn Rider. All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the deal. I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon a... Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. So, what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Huh? Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Don't. Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. Yeah, no can do. Unfortunately, the kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I am serious. Oh. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home. Then you give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it! The three guys in the funny outfits! They look tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. I'll take you. But on ah. one condition. My three sidekicks come along. Fair enough deal. <laughs> and now I wish that this uh, particular scene had music associated with it. It does not. So I am going Look to provide it uh, myself, because of course I do. <laughs> Let's check it out. So we do have to run up to the tower to initiate this, but there's a save point, so that's always quite helpful. Um, but yes, the scene that we're about to get to is where, in the original film, it's uh, when will my life begin reprise two. There's actually two reprises, but only one of them actually made it into the film, funnily enough. But I will say that it is the one that I think is the better reprise. So, that is fine by me. But before that, clearly I've decided I want to synthesise and do all sorts of crazy things. Can't really do any Keyblade upgrading at the minute, which is a pain in the bum, but there we go. I can, however, take a picture of Rapunzel's tower. And that is a photo mission complete mundo. Brilliant! What a tower here. I mean, I too would make... Well, I, I would question that as well. But, uh, these things occur. And yeah, I get very tetchy whenever I'm just like, I want to find treasure chests before I continue with plots. All sorts of stuff could happen. I'm pretty sure that the second I go anywhere near this tower, it's going to start a cutscene, and um, I'm not going to be able to really find any chests, but that is okay. We will live with that. Because I get to have a sing-song. Huh? 
Look at the world so close and I'm halfway to it. Look at it all so big, do I even dare? Look at me here last, I just have to do it. Should I? No. Here I go. I see this, this is where the song needs to be. Just smell the grass, the dirt, just like it's I dreamed so they'd be. Just feel that I'm summer free. breeze, the I'm way it's free. calling me. For like the first time ever, I'm completely free. I could go running and racing and dancing and chasing and leaping and bounding, have flying, heart pounding and splashing and reeling and finally feeling. That's when my life begins. First time ever? Yeah, I feel that it would have been a lot stronger had they actually included, you know, the uh, the, the song that goes with this moment. Because, I mean, I it, in, in part because I, I love it. Um, but then I they do do this scene and they do it really, really well, I feel. Mother would be so furious if she knew I disobeyed her and left the tower. But that's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. Right? No. Oh my gosh, this would kill her. This is amazing! <laughs> I am never going back! I am a despicable human being! Best day ever! I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stop right there. Who are you? Oh. I told you before, my sidekicks. Sidekicks? May I introduce? Uh... Oh, my name's Sora. And I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm Rapunzel. Yep, my sidekicks. Hey. Since when is that? Look, she really wants to see the Lantern Show tomorrow night. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I've decided to help her. Only problem is those monsters might show up again. I can get her to the kingdom, but you guys are clearly more cut out for combat. That's huh? us, we're heroes! Uh-huh. And oh. we're heartless experts. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Just leave it to us. Done. Rapunzel is interested. Yeah, her heart's pulling her all kinds of ways. It's one way to describe it. The outside world must seem so big and scary. I know how she feels. Lucky for me, you two came along at just the right time. And the rest has been unforgettable. Mm. <laughs> uh, yep. Unforgettable. Just like your face. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mal. All for one and one for all. just oh my god I just one of the things that I love so much is just it's the interaction between Sora and Donald and Goofy in this game it's just it's it's perfection it is the most like a group of friends they have ever felt I mean I said that before but sort of 
it, it's just so well also, done! Pretty excited if this is really your first time outside the tower. And this is also a really fun section, and there's a lot of missable dialogue here. Because I can't tell you how long I've been Rapunzel's for just gonna sort of flip between thing and thing. She's gonna do sort of interact with so many different elements. It's ridiculous. So really you could end up sort of <laughs> with anything during this. And ultimately everyone's gonna have a slightly different experience of this whole sequence, and that's amazing. I've painted everything I can see from my window. Also, I think. But now I get to see it all up close. One of the things that I sort of I wanted to do I was just like I want to get sort of everything that I can do. Yeah, I'm not I going to, even... largely because I do things like that and just run into a battle cutscene. Um, but it's okay. Because the Kingdom of that? Corona is not exactly so short, so it's it's okay. Huh? And yes, that is so cute <laughs> and fluffy. It's probably going to be a heartless. <laughs> Definitely a heartless. Um, but it's still incredibly cute and fluffy. Heartless. Although I would say that its bottom half is less Take cute cover. than its top half. Huh? I hate to say it, but I'm letting you out of this deal. What? It's way too scary out here. Let's just turn around and take you home. No, I am seeing those lanterns. You tell him, Rapunzel. No, oh, come on! <sighs> Rapunzel? It's okay. I'm not afraid to face them. <sighs> And this is just really awesome because uh, we get um, Rapunzel and Flynn to join us in battle. Which just is awesome. And actually, I didn't think about this, but there's a lot of tower related um, Heartless in here. So you've got the Puff Balls and the Chief Puff who make a tower. Um, there is an enemy that we're going to be facing later on that also makes itself into a tower and then the boss is entirely related to a tower so uh, that's just really quite fun also there is a photo mission for getting one of those so you might as well try and grab it now whilst it's here yeah it's one of the, a few enemies that has a uh, armor shielding so the giant fluff ball on its head count as sort of the armor and you've got to destroy that armor before you can actually start to attack it and hurt it. But it's honestly not too bad. There are some definitely some challenging fights to come in the Kingdom of Corona, um, but I would not say that this is one of them. The only challenge that you may face is just that there are a lot of footballs in here and they do throw a number of chief puffs at you which have the potential to give you some trouble if you're not careful but as you can see this is going okay also this move is amazing as well i love it what a perfect way to end that fight. And uh, we now go back to the tower for Rapunzel. Donna Murphy. Rapunzel. You're amazing. And this this scene's also very well very well done. And it's going to reintroduce us to an absolute stalwart sort of of the Kingdom Hearts franchise. someone? 
Who's there? Hello, Marluxia. She's such a precious gift. Allow me to assist you in getting her back. 